Well, Jamal Harvey, the 20 year old from Maryland, has been brilliant in this tournament. Preparing for his sixth bout of the tournament. And he was knocked down in the opening round of his first bout against Vasily Usteroy, but he showed his resilience, showed his resolve, got off the floor to win that contest. And then he's had wins against Mirzizbek Muzakalilov, the 2019 world champion at 57 kilograms, 1-0 as a pro, he eliminated him. Then a good dis decision with speed over Luis de Oliveira of Brazil, where he showed wonderful switch hitting. And then beat the Tokyo Olympian Samuel Kistahuri with an amazing display of switch hitting and power pot shotting. His opponent, Serik Tamir Janov, 23 years of age. He too in his first appearance at a senior world championships. And it's the sixth bout of the tournament for him also. Sensational win against the 2021 world youth champion, Reito Tsutsumi of Japan in the round of 32. Then he eliminated India's national champion, Rohit Moore. The Russian national champion, Edward Savin, before a really hard-fought affair, taking it on a 3-2 split against the two-time national champion of Cuba, Oswald Caballero, in the semi-final yesterday. Truth be told, he got his nose in front, took his foot off the gas in the final round, but that was five scorecards returned of 28-29, 3-2 in favor of the man from Kazakhstan. So both boxers were champing at the bit to receive the final instructions from the referee. And there you see the difference in stature as the two men go face to face before being sent back to the respective corners. Jose Romero Hernandez of Spain is our referee. And we await the opening belt in this highly anticipated featherweight gold medal bout. So here we go then, three three-minute rounds of action in the 57-kilogram featherweight division between boxers from the United States of America and Kazakhstan. The man wearing red is Jamal Harvey. He just took a good left jab to the body, and then it was brought upstairs by the taller figure wearing blue, and that is Serik Tamir Janov, 23 years of age. His opponent, Jamal Harvey, just 20. And you can see... Terrific work to the body once again by Tamir Janov, who really is a towering figure of a 57 kilogram fighter, but he dipped his knees nicely there to snake in a jab to the body a few moments ago. Harvey, altogether different in build, compact, a bundle of fast twitch fiber. I've commented before on the man's calves, like a latter day Tyrannosaurus Rex, the manner in which they just bulge out of his socks and he uses that to produce quick footed bursts to speed across the canvas and close the gap. Shushine burst of punches a few moments ago, where perhaps a couple got through. And there you see him with good work to the body once again, rather untidy, catching his opponent with forearms, Tamir Janov remaining cool under fire. Minute gone in the opening round. Tamir Janov short with his jab, right hand, pot shot out of the orthodox stance from Harvey, was a, little, was a bit off the mark, but that second one certainly did get through. Counter left hand was a scoring shot from Harvey, who is showing his speed once again. Wide-legged stance on the back foot and getting his shots off first and in between the longer shots of the man in blue. Beyond the midpoint of this opening round, Harvey now operating out of the port-sided stance and he does this with equal adeptness as he scored with the right hand around the corner. The legs tangle. Harvey shook his head before his glutes even touched the canvas, just reinforcing for the referee that the legs got tangled and that wasn't a knockdown. Tamir Janov looking for the bolo shot to the body, but couldn't quite find a range. 
Coming forward once again behind a double right jab before attempting a bolo left hand to the body was Harvey, but he didn't really have the accuracy in that cluster of punches. Good left hook upstairs from Harvey after he took a shot to the body from Tamir Janov. Both men trying to work on the inside and there's a burst of punches to the torso from Harvey. Just over 30 seconds to go in what has been a competitive opening round. Low blow from Tamir Janov and then hitting on the break, my goodness. Two cussed competitors facing off for championship gold here. And it's another entanglement at close range. Good work by the taller man wearing blue. And this time it's Harvey's turn to hit on the break. Approaching the 10 second clapper of what has been a competitive opening round. There was a long left to the body. And then Harvey landing with the right hand. It may have been a slap, but the referee speaking to Mirjanov about keeping his head up. Harvey concentrated on the back foot, takes the right hand, but then look at his cluster of success on the belt. Tamir Zhanov with the final shot, which may have been after the belt, and nudging right uppercut. Contrasting styles between these two boxes and the manner in which they go about their craft, but a very competitive opening three minutes. It was. I would go red corner myself, but not by very much. And the judges go 5-0 in favour of Harvey. Simply, he outlanded Temerjanov in that, in that first round. But Temerjanov is physical. He's an intimidating presence in that ring. He doesn't try and keep it on the outside, interestingly. He likes it at mid-range and just signs in that final minute that every now and again, he can get in a little bit closer, get on top of Harvey and not bully him exactly, but just bring that bigger frame to bear. Harvey... In his first fights, every fight we've seen him really, he's got the courage and the confidence to plant his feet and let his hands go. He's been a little bit more circumspect in that regard in that opening round. I think we might have to see him do that more in the second and third and hit Temujan off hard because the Kazakh is going to come after him. So into the second round then. The two most successful boxing teams here, at Bel here in Belgrade, facing off in this 57 kilogram featherweight final. Both, boxers, bo both boxing teams sending four men through to the finals. Tied at number one in that regard. Another right hand lands on the break from Jamal Harvey. USA sent a nine-man team and had six quarter finalists from which they've got four medals and four finalists. Good left hand out of the southpaw stance again from Harvey. Kazakhstan sent a 13-man team, an astonishing 10 quarter finalists, five medals and four finalists for the Central Asian nation. Minute gone in this second round. Counter jab not too far away from Harvey, but again, there you see evidence of his sensational speed of hand and foot, scoring with the right hand. And he's so explosive that these aren't feather light punches. The pot shots have a fair degree of power on them. So Tamir Zhanov with a single phase attack, couldn't find the range, long reaching southpaw left to the body was off the mark from Harvey. So Tamir Zhanov trying to come forward, but stepping into the breach to meet him with a jolting right jab was Jamal Harvey. Halfway through the second round, the first one taken, remember, on a clean sweep of the cards by the boxer in red, beautiful burst of punches to the body. And then a finishing with a hook from Tamir Zhanov. He now up on his toes, moving laterally clockwise and counterclockwise both boxes beyond reach but it's edging forward with that range finder of a left hand held out in front of him like an antenna it's Tamir Janov and again he causes Harvey to become disorganized as he landed a left hand but Harvey comes right back again demonstrating the competitive spirit that has served him so well throughout this tournament minute to go as Harvey lands a good right hand followed by a left Tamir Janov trying to score in between but was wide of the mark scoring left jab once again and again on an upward trajectory from Jamal Harvey he's getting the better of that exchange first and third boxing from the man in red inside the final minute now, check right hand was landed by Harvey Tamir Zhanov, celebrating, but the more eye-catching work from my vantage point here ringside came from the man in red. Another tussle on the inside. Harvey did well to get his hands free and bustle away with punches. There's a good right hand landed by the man in blue. Right hand to the body was whipped in by Tamir Zhanov. Activity from the hands of Harvey, not necessarily accurate, but that right hand was... The second one was long, but the left hand which followed it was on the mark. He really is putting a lot into that overhand right. He's not finding the range, but he's so quick that the left hand that's coming afterwards is a scoring shot from Jamal Harvey. 
terrific round of boxing once again. Tamir Zhanov thinks that he's done enough. It was a very good response from him, scoring to both body and head. But Harvey was so busy once again. It's another round for the red corner from where I'm sitting, and he's almost there, Jamal Harvey. Tamir Zhanov did come after him in that second round. We'll have to wait and see what the judges have done with it. He did come after him, but for me, he didn't really do enough. Split scoring there. Three scores of 10-9 there for Harvey. Two scores of 10-9 for Temer Zhanov. And what that means is that he's got a two-point advantage, Harvey, with three out of the five judges. That's crucial because it means that Temer Zhanov now needs 10-8s in this final round to have a chance or a point deduction for Harvey. And that doesn't look likely at all. The American, I thought, was, was terrific in that second round. He dug in. He did all of the things that I said he would need to do because Temer Zhanov was looking for him. But he hits hard. He hits hard, he commits to the punches, and the speed is blurring. So into the third and final round we go then. Jamal Harvey taking the second round on a 3-2 split. And after taking the first round unanimously, that means he has a 20 points to 18 lead for three of the five scoring judges. Tamir Janov battled back to get two of the scores, but that means he only has got two of them at 19 points apiece with three minutes to go. Harvey with a flicking left jab to the body. Concentration going to be absolutely crucial for the man from Maryland now. Slapping right hand not too far away from the man in red. And of course, hailing from Maryland, Andrew Maynard, Olympic champion in Seoul 1988, comes from that state. So too, Ray Leonard, who took Olympic gold in Montreal 76, Jarrett Swift heard, Gary Antoine Russell, a whole host of outstanding fighters from Maryland as Harvey scores with a good straight left to the body. And Tamir Zhanov, well, maybe he's putting all of his store into landing the perfect punch because it's not a swarming attack. He's going to need 10 -eight, a 10-8 round as we take a look at Zelko Mavrovic, still sporting the Mohawk, by the way. Had a good chat with him here out in Belgrade. Still in terrific shape as Jamal Harvey's takes a stiff left jab from the taller boxer. Check right hand is a scoring shot as Tamir Zhanov up on his toes, remaining patient, but he's running out of time because remember, he needs a 10-8 round to get himself back into contention on the card of three scoring judges as a backhand southpaw left followed by a right causes Tamir Zhanov to lose his balance and totter backwards momentarily. Terrific punch picking by this explosive little boxer in red. Burst of punches to the body attempted by both fighters. Minute to go in the final round. Tamir Zhanov with a left-right that may have been glancing, but they were scoring shots, even though the backhand appeared to be something of a slap, landing with the inside of the glove. Harvey biting down and swarming forwards once again, tying his man up near the ropes, killing the clock, which is in his favour, very much the friend of Jamal Harvey and the foe of Serik Tamir Zhanov. Tamir Zhanov on his toes now, trying to present dynamism. That right hand wasn't too far away. And it's as though these two are playing a game of fist stick twister up there in the boxing ring has the limbs and arms entangled at close range 30 seconds to go Tamir Zhanov stealing a glance to his corner right hand to the body left hand to the head with terrifically picked punches from Jamal Harvey then he scores with a left jab which he evades the counter by employing the layback switches southpaw good right hand to the body turned underneath by Tamir Zhanov who is trying to increase his punch output, but he's running out of time. And that 10 second clapper is a sound to all boxers all around the world that the bell is imminent. They continue to trade punches right up until the closing bell. What a contest. And that double bicep flex and swagger back to his red corner from Jamal Harvey is in recognition of the fact that he has just outboxed the Tokyo Olympian, Serik Tamir Zhanov, and will occupy the highest spot on the rostrum. Tamir Zhanov comes away with a silver. In this, his first appearance at a senior world championships, he was a bronze medalist at the World Junior event way back in 2013. But a brilliant performance, and that is why Jamal Harvey is beaming from ear to ear in anticipation of the announcement, which will see him crowned as the Aiba 57 kilogram featherweight world champion. Billy Walsh, the man in the blue face covering on the right-hand side of the shot. Here is the announcement. Oh. 
a battle cry from Jamal Harvey as he flexes that right bicep because he has just been crowned as the featherweight champion of the world here at the 2021 Aiba World Boxing Championships. A 5-0 clean sweep of the cards, bowing to acknowledge all sides of the Stark Arena here, sportingly embracing with Serik Tamirjanov. And now the celebrations begin, first with head coach Billy Walsh, who has done such a great job revitalizing the sleeping giant of the United States Aibra Olympic Boxing Program. And they have a champion crowned in the 57 kilogram flyweight division. What an image that's going to make for them to look back on in years to come. But at just 20 years of age, Jamal Harvey has got plenty more in the here and now. He produced a brilliant display over Serik Tzimirjanov. He deserves credit for earning himself a silver, but a very good display by the American boxer. He's been brilliant. He's been brilliant all the way through the competition. He was in my ring when he beat Mirza Zizbek, Mirza Khalilov, and that was a fantastic, fantastic win. Not many people would have backed him to pull off, and it was absolutely deserved. He's the full package. He's got the confidence. He's got the athleticism, as you say, the explosivity, the aggression, the technique. He's got everything you could possibly want, and he will be a major force over the next few years for as long as he stays in this IEBA system.